Friends, this is a cataract with grade 3 nuclear sclerosis. At this moment, it appears like a very soft cataract. But when we will divide the nucleus into several pieces, we will see that it is not so soft as it appears. And now, after incision, viscoelastic substance is injected into the anterior chamber. Visco is applied over the corneal epithelium. This improves visibility. And now, this is a side port on the left side of the main incision. And now see the rexis. We are going to see the rexis in slow motion. This is in real time. Rexis with the iterator forceps. And the rexis is done. Now let us see the rexis in 25% speed. The iterator is introduced. The arms are closed. Pierces the anterior pole of this cataractus lens. A capsular tag is raised. The capsular tag is held. And now we go to 50% speed. I remain at a certain distance away from the margin of the dilated pupil. And always the anterior leaf of the main wound is kept lifted up. So two things we have to take care. Keeping the anterior leaf of the main wound lifted up, we move the Utrata forceps all around and do the rexis. This is in real time hydrodissection. Hydrodissection is done, and now we can see that the cataract is not very soft. Some more visco, and now let us see direct chalk. The phaco needle goes into the anterior chamber with its bevel down. Some superficial cortical lens matter is removed. Then the handpiece is turned to make the bevel off. And now the exposed part of the phaco needle is buried completely into the, anti into the substance of the nucleus. And thus the tip gets occluded very nicely. You can hold the nucleus very firmly and you can chop the nucleus into fragments. So this is the key. You have to go into the substance. The tip should be completely occluded and then you come back to aspiration mode. That is foot switch position 2. Hold the nucleus very firmly and then chop the nucleus. And it is done. Now management of epinucleus. Always be very careful to hold the anterior part of the epinucleus, the part which is just under the anterior capsular rim. And in this case, I removed most of the cortex by the phaco needle itself. At this time, I am not in a sound mode, it is in IA mode. And now this is hydroimplantation of an intraocular lens. In this case, the leading haptic is attached to the optic and it will get released only after some time. We have to wait for that. Sometimes we may have to release it by using two instruments, but usually these hydrophilic lenses get detached after some time, after a few seconds. This is a bit of moxifloxacin and now the side port is closed by corneal stromal hydration. In this case I want to show you one more thing. This is in 25% speed. The removal of visco from the corneal endothelium and this can be done best by a Simco cannula. Yes, by a Simco cannula because there is irrigation 
there are double irrigation you can produce by Simco. You can just irrigation is already there and the fluid some amount of fluid about 5 cc you can take in the syringe and you can flush out through the aspirating port towards the corneal endothelium very gently and in about 10 seconds time you can clean the visco from the corneal endothelium very nicely and now this is in 50 percent speed the antichamber is nicely formed and the case is concluded thank you very much for your attention hope this video will help you in doing rexis direct job and cleaning visco from the corneal endothelium very efficiently